This is video two in our lengthening series. My name is Sarah Kirkoni, Live Free Warrior. We don't need anything for this class. This is really about going with the flow. We're focusing on the upper body. So shoulders, back, let's get into it. So you're gonna come to a tabletop position and just start with doing a few rounds of cat cows. We keep it simple and easy and flow. So as you take a back bend, gazing forward or maybe looking up and then press into the palms, rounding the spine, taking chin to chest. Inhale, back bending. And exhale, press into the palms and round. Three more like that, inhale. Exhale, rounding. Inhaling. Press and round. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, round. Come on back to neutral. Plant the palms, tuck the toes under, and lift up and back, downward facing dog. Keep a bend in the knees, because again, we're focusing on the upper body. So it's really about how your shoulders are feeling. Start to take inventory of your body, which I recommend any time to do before going into a workout, before going into a stretch, whatever it might be. Take an inventory of your body before just jumping into something literally and figuratively. <laughs> Take a deep breath in, full breath out. And with those bent knees, start to walk your way to the front of the mat. You're gonna start with some gentle shoulder stretches. Bent knees, inhale, long spine, and exhale, forward fold. Interlace the hands, small the back, and allow the arms to extend up and overhead. And let the hands get really heavy here. You can always keep a bend in the elbows, and if that doesn't feel good, you can place the knuckles to your low back and just hang there as well. Most importantly, just feeling a stretch in your shoulders, like you're wringing and rinsing them out. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, feel your feet ground to the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Release the bind of your hands with bent knees and roll your way all the way up to standing. Inhale, arms up overhead. Bend your elbows, grab hold of them with opposite hands. Okay, so you're pulsing the arm bones back behind your ears. It's a nice little back bend. Also stretching the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, come on back up. You're gonna side bend to the right, lift up and over to the right. Deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale two. And exhale. Inhale three. And exhale, side bending. Come on back to center, inhale. Lift up and over to the left. Again, we're not going super fast in this. This is really to lengthen both your breathing and your body and muscles. So all the oxygen that you can flow through your body works into the bloodstream, works into your muscles. And on the inhale, come on back to center. Relax your arms down by your side. Just give them a little shake out. Press the palms together, okay, and reach the arms up overhead. As you bend the elbows, take the hands to the back of the head or the neck. Lift up to go back, and do that again. Inhale, lift up, exhale to go back. Again, inhale, lift up, exhale, back. Inhale, rise back up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a long spine, and as you plant the hands, step your left foot back, come into a warrior one. The arms rise up overhead, you're going to interlace the hands at the small of your back. And like we did in our forward fold, either bent elbows or extend the arms. Take an inhale and on the exhale, folding. Bring your right shoulder near your right knee. And then you're going to rise back up on the inhale. Four more. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, rise. Last one, exhale. Inhale, rise. This one you're gonna hold. Exhale, fold. 
Let the arms extend or go where they want to go or where allowed to. Square your hips off. So you start to bring that left hip forward, right hip back. Holding, two. And one, lift up halfway. Just allow the hands to come down to the mat. Pivot to the ball of your left foot and then step quietly your right foot back. Shift forward in your plank and then lower all the way down towards the mat. Toes untuck, plant the palms, kind of a little back bend, inhale. And exhale, lower back down. Two more like that, inhale, lifting. And exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Walk the hands back, tuck the toes under. Come into a tabletop position again, like we did before. So you're gonna take a twist, reach your right arm to the side on the inhale, and then weave the arm through, thread the needle, come onto your right shoulder. Tent your left fingertips up and twist and wring out the spine. Try and keep your hips square. So tendency, the left hip is gonna to wanna to shift. Draw back. <laughs> Deep breath in. And exhale. In. And exhale. Inhale. And exhaling. Switch sides, come on back to center. Left arm extends to the side and then thread the needle, weave it under. Deep breath in. And exhale, twist. Inhale. Twisting. In. Full exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Coming back to center. From a tabletop position, press up and back. Downward facing dog with bent knees. Set the left foot between your hands. Set up in that warrior one. And back here, lowers down. Inhale, arms rise. And interlace the hands at the small of your back. Switch up the thumbs. So you have a, a favorite thumb. Switch it up, put the other one on top. Take a deep breath in, elevating the chest and exhale. Hinging at the waist, left shoulder near your left knee. And then inhale, rise back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. For three. Inhale, rise. Two. Inhale, lifting. And one. Inhale, rise back up. This time you're gonna hold. Exhale, fold, hinging at the waist. If you lose your balance, just like me, just park your way back into it. <laughs> Deep breath in. And exhale, sink in a little bit deeper if there's space. Again, work on squaring the hips. Now it's your right hip that shifts forward. Pull that left hip bone back. Three. Two. One. Lower the hands down towards the mat. You're gonna step your right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Relax and shake out the neck. Wave a little side to side. Deep breath in. Exhale. Try and breathe into the upper back. So expanding your lungs. Inhale. And exhale. Bend knees. Roll your way all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. Hands to heart center. Let's come into a Gomakasana arms. Inhale. Arms up. Bend your right elbow. Grab hold of it with your left hand. If you want to take the full bind, you can take the left hand down and around. Hook up the fingertips. Inhale, and exhale, deep breath in, and exhaling, one more inhale, and release, you switch, do the other side, left arm comes up and over with a full bind, now it's your right hand coming up and under, deep inhale, and a full exhale, inhale, exhaling, in, and release. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, forward fold, bent knees. Inhale to a long spine. And exhale, step your left foot back, step your right foot back. From plank, shift forward, lower all the way down towards the mat. Toes untuck. 
Your hands will come off the mat and tilt your elbows up towards the sky. As you press into the tops of all 10 toenails, press into your fingertips, and then peel the chest away from the mat. You're gonna drop your left shoulder close to the mat, and then look to the right. Deep breath in. And exhale. Back to center on the inhale. Drop your right shoulder, look to the left. Deep breath in. Full exhale. Back to center, inhale. One more right side, drop the left shoulder, look right. And breathe. Should feel pretty good in the left shoulder. Back to center on the inhale. Drop the right shoulder, look left. Inhale. And exhale. Come on back to center. You're gonna lower your weight all the way down. Left arm extends to the side, palm faces down. Take your left ear to the mat and then roll into your left side. Stay here or you can step your right foot behind you. And you can tent the right fingertips or work your right arm up to the sky behind your back and open up the entire chest. Most importantly, feel good. Breathe deeply. Inhale. And exhale. In and out. You're gonna unwind your way from whatever position you're in and we switch sides. So now it's your right arm to the right side. Come onto your right shoulder. And I'm ahead of the game. Stack your feet, step your left foot behind you. Maybe you're on your left fingertips or you're working that left arm behind you. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Come on back to center, unwind. Press on up, tabletop position. And from tabletop, hips are over the knees. You're gonna keep the hips over the knees there, just start to walk your hands out in front of you. Puppy pose or anahatasana. You can place your forehead down to the mat on this one feels okay you can also do your chin whichever feels best in your body really press down through the palms stay active in the arms And walk your hands back in. You can be seated, you can be kneeling. I'm just gonna do a few more in the shoulders and the neck. Just take a couple shoulder rolls. Bring the shoulders all the way near the ears, drop them down away. Two more. And exhale. One more in. And exhaling. Just make a circle with the neck. Down around the other side. And then switch. Take it back. Left, down, over, back on up. That concludes our lengthening practice for the upper body in class number two. See you in an upcoming video. My name is Sarah Caracone, Live Free Warrior.